The King's coronation rehearsal was on last Wednesday, and the streets are dripped in regal splendour and majesty. Pomp and pageantry? Check. Flag-waving tourists? Check. Diamond Jubilee State Coach? A big check. Wait, Diamond Jubilee State Coach? What's the importance of a coach in the King's coronation, you might ask? How can it serve any purpose other than travel? All your questions will be answered in this video. While the City of London slept, the dress rehearsal for the coronation procession took place featuring hundreds of soldiers, many on horseback and the Diamond Jubilee State Coach and Gold State Coach. The coronation for King Charles III was on Saturday, but in the darkness early Wednesday, the participants held a full dress rehearsal for the big day. The rehearsal took place amid heightened security after Tuesday's arrest at Buckingham Palace, where a man allegedly threw shotgun cartridges into the grounds. In preparation for the event, a laid-back King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla were seen arriving at the venue accompanied by Prince William, his wife Catherine, and their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis at Westminster Abbey in London. Upon arrival, the royal family were warmly welcomed by the Dean of Westminster and ushered into the historic Gothic church where the King and Queen Consort was crowned on Saturday later, surrounded by 2,300 guests and a worldwide TV audience of millions. The King's sister, the Princess Royal, attended the rehearsal after visiting soldiers from the Household Division at Wellington Barracks earlier in the day. The early morning rehearsals gave fans a first glimpse at the carriages the King and Queen will use to travel to and from the coronation ceremony this weekend. The coach is a representation of the lengthy and illustrious history of the British monarchy and has been used in numerous past coronation events. Members of the British Armed Forces and the Palace Guards practice their steps along the route the King and Queen will take to and from Westminster Abbey for the formal crowning. White horses pulled the Golden State coach that will carry the newly crowned king following the coronation ceremony. The royal couple was set to travel to Westminster Abbey in the modern Diamond Jubilee State coach and return to the palace in the traditional Gold State coach. The Diamond Jubilee State coach also came out of storage, illuminated with lights. It was pulled by white horses along the route where thousands of onlookers are expected to witness the event. The coach will carry King Charles and Queen Camilla to the ceremony. The Diamond Jubilee State Coach is an enclosed six-horse-drawn carriage. It was made to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II's 80th birthday, although its completion was delayed for eight years. Eventually, it became a commemoration for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, much more comfortable than other royal carriages. It features air conditioning, electric windows, and up-to-date suspension. The procession began when soldiers dressed in bright yellow uniforms embarked on the short journey accompanied by a brass band on horseback. The procession started at Buckingham Palace, passing through Trafalgar Square and Downing Street before reaching Westminster Abbey. As the stagecoach passed through Westminster, onlookers followed alongside, trying to keep up with the regiments of mounted soldiers. Various regiments marked down the mall after 1am, with Buckingham Palace relatively quiet until the sound of bagpipes could be heard shortly after 2.30am. Soldiers from the armed forces were seen parading in the Parliament Square, practicing changing positions as Big Ben chimed. Artillery regiments rehearsed moving cannons on horseback, while others practiced the mock firing of ceremonial weapons. The procession returned to Buckingham Palace shortly after 3 a.m. with military bands playing in full swing. The Gold State Coach was spotted passing Buckingham Palace at about 3.20 a.m. The Diamond Jubilee State Coach and Gold State Coach were both used and spectators lined the streets to get an early glimpse at the procession, which will take place on Saturday. At least 15 tents were already set up on the mall as royal fans test their viewpoints in anticipation of camping out until Saturday. The nighttime rehearsal illuminated the streets of London as members of the UK's armed forces rehearsed the processions that will take King Charles and Queen Camilla between Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey for the coronation on May the 6th. Dressed in full uniform regalia, members of the military practiced on foot and on horseback, how they will accompany the King and Queen 74 and 75 of ages respectively, in their coaches on the way to and from the ceremony. Many of the processions carried instruments including saxophone, trumpets and horns. However, reports say only the drums were played until the troop returned to the mall after 3am. It's not an exaggeration to assume that people were awestruck and they couldn't wait to see how grand the coronation would be. 
Did you watch the coronation? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell so you wouldn't miss another update.